Hello, Dr. Roy here. I want to introduce you to your m -Site centrifuge. I absolutely love my system. When you receive the centrifuge in the box, the, the rotor was separate. So I'm just going to take that rotor off for you so that you can watch me assemble this. This key is super important. Now, of course, it's just a regular hex, uh, but keep it around. Keep it handy. I would actually put it behind the centrifuge. This is the rotor. It all comes in one piece. Okay, you can see the, the nut. And the bottom has a slot. That slot will sit down over the pin that's at the bottom of the, of the um, rod. Okay, so there's a pin at the bottom of the rod. The slot has to fit over it so that it absolutely hits the bottom, the base. Once it does, you will very easily be able to tighten. You want to hold, if we don't, it'll just spin. So you want to hold the rotor and just hand tighten. Okay, and then you're all set. You notice when you close the lid, if you hold it, it will close automatically. If you hit open, it'll open. Now, I want to bring your attention to the settings here. This is the time. I have mine at, at 1.5, which is our first spin. And then this is the speed, and it should be at 3.8 RPM. If I want to change that RPM to RCFs, I simply hit that knob one time. And you can see that the maximum RCF is 3.0. So um, that'll tip you off right then that you're at the wrong, you're in the wrong setting. Hit it again. Turn the RPMs down to 3.8. Adjust your time by turning this knob right here. So first spin is 1.5 minutes at 3.8 RPMs. Second spin is 5 minutes at 3.8 RPMs. You're going to put your buckets in the centrifuge. And of course, you're going to put one opposite the other. There's four opportunities for buckets here. You're then going to put your plasma on one side or your, your whole blood on the first spin and your counterbalance on the other side. Now, m -Site provides you with a non-sterile set of these conicals with every case of um, uh, kits. And you can see that they mimic exactly what's in the PRP kick kit. So the first spin is done with the conical that has the disc and the second spin is done, this is the, the uh, concentrator, with the conical that has no disc. It's, it's just a, a clear tube running to the bottom. These are uh, uh, easy. These are actually lure lock tops and you just attach your syringe. In this particular case I can add water if I need to, I can subtract water if I need to. So my counterbalance always wants to be even with whatever product it is that I'm spinning. Okay. When I'm finished with that, I turn my syringe and I'm all set. It's a self-sealing top. In your kit, these will be sterile self-sealing tops. And you always want to wipe the top, obviously, with alcohol. And I'll, I'll show you how to spin. But the first spin is done with the, the disc conical. The second separator, or concentrator rather, is just the straight tube. So your first spin, you'll use the first spin counterweight and your blood product. You'll hold the door closed. It'll automatically close. You'll dial your time to 1.5 minutes and your speed at 3.8 RPMs. And you just hit start, just that one time. And the first time I did it, I wasn't sure if it was starting. It didn't sound like it was making any noise. And that's because it's a very slow, soft start and a very slow, soft finish so that we have um, uh, no activation of our platelets until we're injecting it into the desired tissue. So please note that the time does not actually start. Oh, I don't have my balance in there, so it's going to wobble. You're not even going to hear the centrifuge. It's fabulous. The time doesn't actually start until the centrifuge spin equals, um, uh, you know, your desired setting. Okay. Once, once we start spinning at 3.8, this time starts ticking, time stops, 
centrifuge slows and you saw that when it comes to a stop the top actually opens okay i'm going to make another video and show you the actual spin all right thank you